Hi, my name's Mad Jack, and I'm going to be bringing you a cornucopia of fun, easy, and safe things to make in your house and play with. So, now let's look at our ingredients for our Play Doh. We've got some table salt, we've got some plain flour, some water, we've got our colours over here. Now, I'm going to be using a cup uh, for measuring. It doesn't really matter what you use, it's all about proportions, and the proportions are one cup of salt, two cups of flour, one, two, now we use the salt just to kill off any germs, it's just really a preservative. Obviously it's so salty that although it is edible, I don't think anyone would really like to try it. And then I've got one cup of water measured in here. Now I need to give that a good mix. Once you get all of it nicely mixed in, we're gonna have to color we're gonna have to cook it and then the colouring comes right at the end once it's all cooled down. So here we are, once we've got to this consistency, don't worry about any lumps in the flour. We're gonna put it on the stove on a medium heat for a few minutes until it's changed consistency. Right, so I've taken the dough mixture from the bowl and we've put it into a saucepan. I've got it on a medium heat. We just need to stir that around. Now again, the cooking really does depend on how powerful your oven is, how much you're cooking, of course. Uh, but you will feel that it really starts to get thicker and thicker and thicker, quite elastic. And when you get to that stage, then you know that you're getting somewhere. You can see this is quite porridgey. We don't have that elastic stage yet. It should be springing back as I do that. But it does suddenly turn, so don't worry if it's taking you a little while. You give that, you keep going, I can see at the bottom anyway, it's really starting to solidify, I don't know if you can see there. Keep it going, making sure you're moving it all around, don't let it cook on the bottom, we're not trying to cook it. Right, so after a few minutes, we've given it a good stir, and if we look down now at the saucepan, we can see we've got one lump. And all we have to do with this is we have to put it aside on a chopping board in this case. I'm just gonna take it off. Try not to touch it too much, remember it is hot. And we're gonna leave that for a few minutes, about 10, 15 minutes, and then we can start adding color. Right, so now that the dough is nice and cool, we're gonna color it and we're going to be making black play-doh. There isn't really any other option than to buy black food colouring for this. Uh, I've cut out a small square of the play-doh that I made. Uh, we're going to pour a little bit of black in there, into a hole I've made. Now this can get very messy so I'm going to be quite careful. Squeezing it everywhere. Right, so, as you can see, okay, get your hands in there. If you are worried about getting your hands covered, then do wear gloves, obviously. Still looking a little bit almost blue, we'll put a bit more in. Knead it, squeeze it, put it into a nice ball. And here we are. Black Play-Doh.